Welcome to Guns Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in today. I wanted to bring you this informational review of a product that I found at my local Walmart called Slime Self Sealing Bicycle Tubes. Slime is the actual name brand, and I've been using this product. Slime's been around for numerous, numerous years, uh, ever since I was a kid. I don't know, I'd have to research the company to see how, exactly how long they've been producing this. Um, but they originally was known for this liquid type sealer that you would just keep in your tires. It's not like fix a flat, so you'd actually put this um, green slime, obviously hence the name, inside your tire, and then if you got a puncture, it was self-sealing, so kind of like run flat situation. So they've since you know started doing other applications and some things like that, and they've they've come out with these self-sealing inner tubes. So basically, you're buying the product that's already in the tube and ready to go. So only thing you need to do is put them on your bicycle pump them up a little bit to get them to correct air pressure and you're ready to go. So if you follow my channel I did a video back it's probably been a year ago or more now about having some type of off-grid transportation um, that available to you. So first thing that comes to mind is bicycles right? So they don't eat anything you don't have to feed them hay and water and all that pretty pretty easy and they're fairly easy to work on even for the common person that doesn't really have a mechanical skill so not a lot of moving parts on a bicycle but one of those moving parts obviously is the wheels and tires so nothing can get you to stop quicker than a flat tire even on a bicycle you have a flat on a bicycle you just can't go anywhere so even during that video I mentioned about putting slime inside of your tires and I mean inside of your tubes that you just buy anyway from the local Walmart or bicycle shop or wherever so lo and behold slime has come out with it already together so I bought one and I don't know if this was mispriced at the time this is called their value pack so it's two tubes already in here for each wheel um, and I paid like six bucks. It was like five eighty nine. I was I didn't have a price, and you know how sometimes at a Walmart the shelving is all jumbled up and you can't find a price. So I put it in my cart and I said, well, you know, I'm going to keep it. I, I definitely want some. So unless it's just outrageously priced, so I get up to the register. And I said, do you mind ringing? Tell me how much this is. And she says like five eighty nine. I said, oh yeah, go ahead and get it. I almost went back to get another pack just because it was so cheap. I don't know if that's the case or if this was marked down. I don't really know that. Um, but it's not super expensive anyway. I've looked it up online, so you can find it on Amazon, places like that. But I did notice most of the local Walmarts now are carrying slime products in their bicycle section. So what is slime? A slime is a, um, it's basically a green slime. It's a, that is, it has, I guess, like particles built in it, so it helps seal holes. So you can create almost a run-flat style tire in about any application except for road use. And the only reason you can't really use it on the road at high speeds is because the liquid inside the inner tube would, um, or your tire, would actually cause the um, balance to be off. So any off-road use that you're kind of going slow. So your ATVs, your side-by-sides, your tr you know, trailers, off-road type trailers, bicycles, lawnmowers, things like that, something like this works great. And I've used it in a lot of different applications, ATVs, um, my lawnmower, bicycle tires, whatever. So I was pretty excited when they had this. So my suggestion from a, a suggestion from a prepper's uh, perspective is I, I bought this and I'm actually not going to put it in my tires right now. So I'm going to buy like a couple boxes and just put them back. Now you do run the risk because two things when you hold things for a long period of time like this all rubber will eventually dry rot. And then the other thing that concerns me is would the slime material itself change somehow? Would it get hard? Would it get, you know, doesn't work anymore? So I, I'm kind of running a little bit of a risk just putting this on a shelf and saving it, right? But I would definitely, if you're going to have a bicycle as a mode of transportation potentially during an off-grid situation, I would have at least, you know, a couple extra sets of, uh, you know, have some fresh tires on it and then make sure you have maybe an extra set of tires or if you've got your tires that you replaced and they wasn't dry rotted but yet maybe they were just worn down a little bit but they were still holding air fine keep them as a spare backup but I would probably have at least one or two pair extra of bicycle tires and tubes that fit your particular bike and the reason is if in a long extended period of grid down say you had an EMP type situation and the grid was down for months possibly you know a year or better 
and you needed to get around, obviously a bicycle is going to be a lot quicker than walking. So that's why you know you want some uh, backup parts, maybe even an extra chain. It's no different than your car. And, you know, if, uh, EMP may knock out your car, but if it's a non-EMP situation, it's just a long grid down situation. You know, I've got spare parts. So, like, if I take off my serpentine belt that's still functional, I'll keep it as a spare, just as a backup, or I have extra spark plugs. So if my spark plugs that I changed out of my car are still good, I give them a good clean, and I just put them in a box and put them on a shelf, so, and I mark them for what it came out of. Um, because my, I tell this story quite often in my videos. Um, I, I grew up with great-grandparents that grew up during the Great Depression. So they didn't throw away anything. I mean, I've seen my great-grandfather or my grandfather go and, you know, they had an old washing machine that was out in the barn. They may pull a hose off of it, some rubber hose, and fit it to the tractor because that's what they was able to do at the time to make it, you know, keep going. So that's why I say make sure you got extras and some backups. But I was pretty excited. Uh, this is a pretty neat product. It looks uh, like it would um, work well because it's already all in one. So you don't have to worry about buying the slime itself and then adding it to the tubes or anything. It's simply put it on, pump up the tires, and you're ready to go. So anyway, guys, uh, it gets good reviews. It gets a little bit of mixed reviews, but mostly good reviews. Uh, slime in general, uh, like I said, I've been around this product forever. Uh, since I was a kid, they used to sell it at my local motorcycle shop, and that's where we found it first. Um, and they actually had a display of a, back long ago when ATVs first come out, the three-wheelers and things like that, they had like balloon tires, they kind of called them. And I'll never forget the display of this product here was had a tire on a wheel and they had an ice pick on a, a on a, a lanyard hanging off of it and they had like hundreds and hundreds of holes uh, popped in this tire and it was still it was still full of air and it was because of the slime product and they showed you how it worked right there in the store and as a kid I used to go over there all the time and just just take that ice pick and just jam it in those tires. thought that was fun as a kid. Um, but anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you got any questions, post those below. If you've got a direct experience with something like this, uh, make sure you tell us about us. Or if you know an alter alternative product or whatever, that's fine too. Tell us about that. But uh, anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. It's over in that section. Also in that section, there's the share button. Share content, that's always helpful to us and to any vendors that participate in our videos and things like that. It helps get the word out about our uh, channel and the products. So anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.